Does eating cholesterol increase your blood cholesterol? There are small amounts of dietary cholesterol that do make their way into our circulation, but it represents a small fraction of our total body's pool of cholesterol. Again, this was known even by Ansel Keys, the, the, the guy who turned fat into the biggest boogeyman of all time. Ansel Keys acknowledged this in the 1960s. Dietary cholesterol plays no role in serum cholesterol. There are two main kinds of cholesterol in our body. Exogenous cholesterol, which is the kind that you eat from your food, and endogenous cholesterol, which is the kind that your body produces, primarily in the liver. Your body is really good at cholesterol homeostasis, which just means maintaining balance. When you eat more cholesterol, your body typically responds by producing less. And when you eat less cholesterol, your body typically responds by producing more. So for the average person, eating less cholesterol has a negligible impact on their actual cholesterol levels. And what matters more are things like your saturated fat intake, your overall caloric balance, your body fat levels, insulin resistance, and even genetics. And this is why major nutritional guidelines removed hard cholesterol limits from their recommendations a couple of years ago. Now, of course, there are some exceptions. Some people, due to genetics, are hyper-responders, where eating more dietary cholesterol significantly increases their blood cholesterol levels. That said, overall dietary cholesterol doesn't matter much for the average person. And if you have high cholesterol levels and you need to lower them, it's much more effective to improve your body composition and focus on overall healthy dietary and lifestyle patterns. So no, eggs are not destroying your arteries. Hope this helps.